Hello everybody! This is Derek from All You Can Quest, and this is Let's Play Banjo Part 3, I think? Yeah, so... Here is... Congo, I think? Congo. Basically, all you have to do is spit these eggs at him. He'll get hit, and then he'll throw oranges at you, because that's what every monkey does, or giant ate. Oh, and apparently hit us. And you just have... <laughs> Did that not hit him? That hit him! Hello. There we go. All right, the game is just being a little dumb, but usually you have to hit him three times, and then this happens. He spits out a jiggy for us to absorb into Kazooie's mouth. Um, I'm not really sure how much this, how many this is. Seven. Okay. And now he's throwing the mouse. Uh, I don't remember if I got the witch switch, so I'm going to go jump up there and see if I did. I'm pretty sure I. Actually, yes, I did. I remember. But you know what? Since I'm already coming up. Okay, dude, just don't jump. That's fine. Um, See, I'm trying to remember what I'm missing. Because I still have, like, I have three more jiggies to get, I think. And I know there's a bunch of notes over there. Um, Let me think. I, I know of two that I can get. But other than that... Let's go in here. I know what's in here, but I'm not really quite sure what's in here. Oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for another one of these Ecombokums to take, and I will just jump right past it. Um, now, if you try to run up these these slopes, you will not be able to do it. So we need to come back in here when we have the ability to get up there. So, yeah. How many? I have four, so I need one more of those heads. Um... Come up here, and we will spit into this thing's mouth. There we go. Alright, I believe it's two more. Now, do not destroy this one. You need to get on top first, spin around in circles, and then get this empty honeycomb piece. And that's the first one of the world, and we will be soon... Well, dude, we will soon be getting the second one. Um, so here's another G, just lying around. Eight. I. Which one am I missing? All right. Well, let's go get these. N oh, pff, it's just sitting right here on Note Hill number two. And I see, I see the other Mumbo token that we need. So I'm gonna go down and get that after we get all these delicious notes. I really like the noise that they make. Just bling, bling, bling. Um. There. I think this is. Nope. There's another little ledge, weird looking ledge that's sticking out that we need to get on. Alright, so there's 90, and if I remember correctly, the other 10 are either in Mumbo's skull right there or in that anthill. So, here's something that you guys are going to get to see. This is the first transformation that we get to do. Um, it's pretty cool. Oh, shh. He's sleeping. Let's just walk over here. Let's not wake him up. Alright, grab these notes. No, don't run into that. Don't want to wake him up. I mean, look how quiet he's being. He's just having his nice nap. Kazooie! Why'd you do that? Me mumbo, bus shaman in the game. Can't help Banjo and Filthy Feathered One. Yeah, Hut Boy, what are you doing? Don't make fun of Kazooie. Kazooie's awesome. And we have plenty of Mumbo tokens as stated on that sign. You need five. Before I do that, you can, there's always stuff up here, and it looks like it's just eggs. Other times, I think it's notes. There might be a Jinjo up here. Oh, speaking of that, when I first said what a Jinjo was, I called it a Jinji, which is the gingerbread man from Shrek, so that was not intentional. I'm not really sure why I called it a Jinji, but we'll just let that pass. Alright, so if we stand on this nice little pressure plate and press B, we will be transformed into an ant. Yes, that is what we are. Mumbo magic. Free to change back when you ready. It's not like that. Termite a bit small, but it will do for now. Yes, it will, Mumbo. Alright, um... 
to the purple. If we come down here, there is another empty honeycomb piece. And you can get this just with banjo, but this thing is the only thing that can walk on that side. So there we go, we got both of the empty honeycomb pieces in this world. So that's pretty awesome, and we're going to go into this place. Now, like I said earlier, Kazooie is not, does not have good enough feet to walk on these sides, but the ant does. And I normally fall like 70 times trying to get up here. Um, so yeah. That was funny, that text that that ant had, or termites. Where'd you get that backpack and stuff? Because they don't really know that we're a bear. Oh, and here are the final... Could you move, please, so I can get these? Thank you. There are the final six, and now we all have... We all have. We have all 100 notes. And we're trying to make those jumps. Not gonna happen, but you know, it's not a big deal. Because what's the game without messing up? Wow, I didn't even make the first jump. Alright, there we go. Whoa, I jumped way too early. Come on, man, you can make this jump. Let's go. Alright, you got that. Alright, let's just grab these, these eggs. And apparently get hurt, because ants don't like me. Because I have a backpack on and pants. Now, I don't know what happens to, Kaz to Kazooie when you do this, because, I mean, she's nowhere to be seen. Alright, let's go grab this. There we go. We now have seven lives, which is pretty awesome, and I almost fell off there, but no big deal. I did not. And there is all ten Jiggies, and we have completed this world, I believe. Uh, yep, we have. We have all five Jinjos, we have all 100 notes, and ten Jiggies from the world, and zero Mobo tokens, zero feathers, zero gold feathers, and zero, I mean, not zero, 74 eggs slash pebbles. So now we're just going to do our leap of joy off this mountain, because you do not take falling damage when you're, uh, I was about to call it a rat, even though this is not a rat, this would be an ant. That's what I was looking for. And hold on. Quick second, something popped up on my screen. Hopefully that does not pick up. Hold on, guys. Little problem going on. Are you serious? No. All right. Starting at eight. All right, guys. My <laughs> sling popped up on my screen and it closed out of my emulator thing, so <sighs> hopefully it doesn't show up too much. And Grunty's magic stops when you take off a... Oh, wait, no, that's talking about the notes. I thought I was talking about the ant. But since we are the ant outside of the world, you can't go that far, but the ant is the only thing that... Well, climb it, please. The ant is the only thing that can climb this. So there we go. We go ahead and get that. It's pretty awesome. And we jump off. Now, most likely I'm going to have to redo this recording, but you don't get my shorts. So, you know, I'm going to try to edit it. Hopefully I can get it to fix. And there we are, transforming back into the bear and bird again. Yes, I said that. Magic all gone. We are bear and bird again. So, yeah, that happened. Now, this is going to be a shorter episode, so I'm just going to go up here. <laughs> I'm just going to go up this slope and open the new door, and that will be it. So, as you can see, we need 50 for that one. And we have 100 because we are cool like that. Let's go ahead and kill this guy and take his life. Ah, oh, bottles. Getting in my way, bro. Yes, it's a note door. One of our powerful musical spells. Uh, hold on just a sec. Alright guys, my phone is ringing. And phones are incredibly annoying. So I had to, you know, shut my mic off. Thank you. Okay, so he refills our energy, and we just killed that guy for no reason now. So let's open this note door, and we're going to do a happy dance, because we opened the door. Alright guys, this has been Derek from All You Can Quest, playing Banjo. Uh, 